Uh, Samson. You're now watching Vendo. Vin Knuckles. I gotta go fast, catch up, you been slow, you win slow. Smell the burn rubber on my midsole. Everything you do once, trust, we'll do it tenfold. You're now watching Vendo. Now I'm watching Vendo. Now I'm watching Vendo. Vin Knuckles. Right on. Right on. Hey everybody, welcome to another Vindo Live and Knuckles. This is and Knuckles month, everyone. We're we're celebrating Knuckles. Knuckles the Echidna, what a guy. Uh I know him, you know him. There he is. Look at him. He's like, look at look at me. Take a look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. Uh he's getting his own TV show, guys. He's getting his own TV show this year. At the, uh, at the end of the month. We're like two weeks away from the Knuckles TV show. I'm excited. I hope you are too. How's everyone been doing today? <coughs> Welcome. Happy Friday. <laughs> uh, let's see. Who do we got here? Uh, Starkiller95. I'll still be here. Just a little more. <laughs> Nightshade. Hi, Starkiller. All here before the stream started. Look at that. That's true commitment. Thank you, guys. Uh, Great Waluigi six four seven member for nine months. I wonder, can I play that notification anyway? Maybe not. <laughs> I pressed the button and it did nothing. Hey, thank you so much. Welcome to delivery. Here's to the ultimate Vindo and Opie. Hey, thank you so much. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the membership perks, including. Emojis and exclusive content. Um, there's going to be a Knuckles-themed thing coming out for you guys pretty soon. And then I've got a, a project that uh, used to be on the internet and is no longer on the internet uh, that will forever be immortalized for my channel members. <laughs> that's coming That's coming soon, too. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about timing with that one, with when I want to release it. But it's a really fun video. I love that video, um, and I, I've been given permission by some friends that are in it to to share it with you guys. So I can't wait for that. It it's truly like one of my favorite things that I've ever worked on, and it's gonna be just for channel members. So I I can't wait for you to see it. I, man, I it was it was made so long ago. It's so much fun though. It's so much fun. Anyway, um, uh, Addy Felina, hello. Goddess of Life, Hannah Myers, 72 Ace Mon, uh, Harley. Look at this. I feel like this is three weeks in a row I've just said Harley instead of the whole thing. So I'm really proud of myself there. Blaine Storm 1, hashtag 182 raid. Yeah. Hashtag 182 raid. How was the stream over there, guys? Do you have a good time with, with KN at Sonic Song 182? Or was it was it Maria that was streaming today, I think? Yeah? How's Maria? How is Maria? Let's see. Kit the Amateur Art Gal. What's up, everyone? Hello. Skull says tether up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll tether up with Skull here soon. AJ Bennett says yo. Kimberly says the hops are back. The hops are back, and they're in the theaters. Uh, mm, sweet. Hello. Anna Myers. Rainbow Wolf Vods. Goddess of Life. Kale 978 Hello, everybody. Ultimate Spider Plush. Wow. Wow, there's so many of you. We killed a Hydra and it was disgusting. How many How many heads did you cut off? Why'd you stop with the head slicing thing? Get up on the Hydra's back! Advice that did not work this time. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, good luck, dude, says Sonic Song. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, this is an interesting game, and I and I can't wait for people who haven't seen it to see it. I've streamed it one other time on this channel. Maybe, maybe I, might have, I might have done two streams of this game. It's, it's a little bizarre, the way that it plays, and you'll see, you'll see shortly. Um, but it's, it's different from a lot of classic Sonic games. It's not like other ones that you've seen before. Whoa! Sweet! Member for nine months. Welcome to DiGiorno. Thank you so much. 
I've been working on my finals and I'm excited to be finished with it. I also have been editing this time. Uh, Jen memorized a poem for one of my finals. Wow. Oh, edit, uh, I see the time that Jen memorized that poem for one of your finals. Wow. That's fun. When was it? That was like three or four weeks ago. Maybe it was like four months ago. Uh, yeah, that was that was fun. Cause that yeah, that was the stream where I was talking about the one time that I recited a poem in like second or third grade, and then I threw up because <laughs> I was so nervous. Which is so funny because I do not have a, a fear of public speaking at all anymore. But in that moment, I guess I did. Let's see. That was a very regular show of you. Uh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? That, that kind of was a Mordecai and Rigby, wasn't it? It's the boys, says Fred the Fish. What's up, Fred? Yo, what's up, Fred? Do you like being a person of flesh, Vinny? Well, you know, we can't all be croissants, croissant king. So, being flesh and bone, I think, is, is one of my best qualities. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Hi Shadow, how are you doing? My cat is in my room and my birthday is in a week. <gasps> uh, happy birthday. I hope it's magnificent. And I hope that you will give your cat a little scritch from me. Farewell. Thanks Shadow. All right. I think he's waited long enough. Let's open the chamber, ladies and gentlemen. You know him, you love him. It's Skull902. How's it going, Skull? Uh, so it's going all right. How are you, Vinny? I'm, I'm magnificent. I'm about to play the hit game, Knuckles Chaotix. I almost called it Sonic Chaotix. That's not what that is. It's not what we're playing. Oops. Oops! All berries. I'm turning, I'm turning you up. I think that turns, like, everything up. Wow. Everyone's just gonna hear me messing with audio <laughs> That's what you come to Vindo for. Yeah, you wanna hear... Solitaire. You wanna hear... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, Kit says, speaking of which, hi, Skull! Hello. Croissant King has the same birthday as Knuckles. Were you born in the same bakery as Knuckles? That's my question. Did you trap Shadow the Hedgehog in the cup? No, is well, I mean, this this is Shadow the Hedgehog. I don't know if you missed it, but it's his year. Sometimes you just turn into a cup. Yeah. It's his year. It's the month of Knuckles, though. But this is Shadow the Hedgehog. This is what he's always looked like. I don't know what your problem is. Okay. Um... The best sounds. I think so. They wouldn't make it th that way <laughs> if it wasn't supposed to be that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> Boing. It's a it's a nice sound. I think it's a nice sound. <laughs> Where'd you get that cup, Vinny? It's awesome. My friends got this for me. Uh, a couple of of my good friends got this for me. And they originally got it for me because they thought I did indeed get the job as Shadow <laughs> in the movie. Which I did not! That was a joke. A lot of people are having trouble with that. That was a joke. I'm not Shadow in the movie. It would be really cool. But it's not me. It is, however, Paddington Bear. That is confirmed. CinemaCon confirmed that Paddington Bear was going to voice Shadow the Hedgehog. That son of a bitch. No, unfortunately, Knuckles was in the bakery down the street, says Croissant King. What, 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 come on, man. What, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? It's one of my favorite Reggie fils and clips. Okay. Let's switch it over. Let's just start playing some games, guys. I, man, I, I haven't played video games just for me in a while, and... Last night, I was like, I've got all these Indiana Jones games that I downloaded last year, and I never played any of them, but I got them for, like, a smoking deal, so I was like, sure. And I played Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine last night, and that was one of the funniest experiences I've had in a long time. 
It's it's a game where the difficulty is controlling the game. <laughs> so it's kind of like Sonic 06 in that aspect for me. I was having a blast. I, I started the game up, and it's like Indy walks out onto like this big old like mountain, like into like a canyon. He's overlooking this canyon, and he goes, time to get to work. And then he like slides down a little hill, and then it like starts you up into the game. And then I walked t like half a foot, and I just fell to my death immediately. It was hilarious. I love this game. Maybe we'll stream it someday. It was a good time. <laughs> That's a bear, not a hedgehog. Well, it doesn't matter. A bear can voice a hedgehog. Paddington Bear did better than me, apparently, so they cast Paddington Bear. I, that's all I that's all I'll say on the subject. That's that's all I gotta say. Did you just drink Knuckles' blood? This is actually fresh squeezed knuckles from my citrus juicer. Vinny, how could you? He liked it. <laughs> I thought we were celebrating Knuckles. We are. That's why we're... Yeah, it's, it's like a holy ritual. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to be in this cult. <laughs> hey, Nightshade member for nine months. Thank you so much. Welcome to the yarn. This is for the month of Knuckles and the year of Shadow. Which buddy cop or detective movie would Shadow and Knuckles be in if they were partners? Probably something like the other guys. I feel like... I'd rather I'd want to see like a comedy thing. I think actually Lethal Weapon would probably be yeah, kind of the realm there. They're both kind of like <laughs> both just kind of grumpy men. I'm getting the, the too old for this. The other guys would kind of be like the chaotics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I'm getting too old for this. Oh wait, why? Hey, you just know why? what? It it, it could still be the other guys uh, if Shadow and Knuckles were um, The Rock and... Uh, Mark Wahlberg? Uh, yeah. Is that who's in that? It's been... I don't think I've seen oh, that wait, since no. it's been uh, Mark Wahlberg was one of the uh, the main characters. Oh, okay. I, I, I forget who who the other guy was. Was it Terry Crews and... I, maybe. I don't I don't remember. I have, they, I have they like, no recollection like of this movie, I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> no rec oh yeah they're like at the very beginning right yeah and then they they're, like they're like the the ultra competent uh cops who are like and they, then they like, jump yeah, and we're, like we're just, die <laughs> yeah <laughs> they 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 jump off a building to there goes my hero <laughs> oh my god that's right Foo fighters is it, are in it oh my god uh maybe i should watch that that'd be good wasn't there a rumor years ago of the rock voicing knuckles before idris was confirmed i that was who i wanted honestly that was like the casting I kind of expected. Um, I think it's kind of like Shadow and Keanu Reeves. I think it's a similar kind of thing with that, where it's just who everyone expects. Not I necessarily who's going to get it, but it's kind of like the this is that person that is typically that type of character. You know, after after it was the Rock they and Sam the... Jackson. That's right. Oh uh, yeah, they they made the Rock a, a recurring joke in in the first two movies so that they, they gotta have him on eventually it, yeah it would have been really funny if he was voicing knuckles in the second movie after is the rock president what blood type is knuckles i don't know this is just his juice <laughs> okay we're moving on from this joke <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a mix of blood spleen other parts no it's just juice you just put him in the juice it's like you know you like ring him out and then you put him back, and then he's fine. This is his juice. <laughs> Don't click oh, this. Dear. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's play Knuckles Chaotix. Whee! Sega. All right, uh, let me share my screen with you so that you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Maybe I gotta open it up. There we go. We have visual. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. New tro new new tragic new new Jimmy Neutron J Jim Knuckles Chaotix <laughs> featuring Knuckles the Echidna. Welcome to the next level in 32X World. All right, Sega. There, here comes Metal Sonic again. Yeah, great. 
scenario quest. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna we're gonna play um, one of these. We're gonna do data two, and then we'll go back into data one and see the final boss because I don't really want to get all the. There's the chaos rings in this game. I don't really want to get all of them. It sounds hard. It was hard last time. So we're just gonna kind of hang out. We're gonna like show off what the game's like, and then we'll go see the final boss. Does that sound good? Special stages are something. They're so hard. Yeah. They're too hard. Let's see, I might have to change the volume mixer up a little bit. I might have to turn you up. Let's see. Skull say something. Rachel Shoulder says, I didn't even know a game like this existed until now. Really? You know, it is kind of a well-kept Sega secret for some reason. Not really sure why. Um, like, Sonic Origins would have been the perfect time to re-release this. It should have been on Gems Collection. There's like a couple of times that this should have... This should have been re-released and it wasn't. Yeah. It's not like a revolutionary game or anything. It's not a very good game at all, but like, you know... But if they're re-releasing the Game Gear games, like, re-release uh, Yeah, this. like, it, it, it really is just a ROM, you know, and it... it, it... It doesn't require, like, you know, uh, much more. Like, if, if you have a Genesis emulator, you know, you, you can you can play this. So it, it doesn't take very much to emulate, you know, 32x games anyway. Right. Save mode auto. Why not? There he is, everybody! So you'll notice he's holding a little ring, and that's because when we get a little buddy, uh, we're gonna we're gonna tether up. So we got ourselves uh, Espio the Chameleon. <gasps> Metal Sonic. Get out of here. Get out of here. Sir? No one? Oh. Oh, no. All right. Press your A button to call your partner. I don't really think I need this, but I'm going to show you guys this. Press the B button to hold your partner and release to throw. Yeah. <laughs> Press the C button to jump. That'll also do our spin dash. Uh, leap. There we go. <laughs> Music in this game slaps. Super Epic Toad Bros. Thank you for the two window. Oh god, I pressed the wrong button already. Appreciate you. Oh! Yeah, there's some weird power-ups in this game, guys. This game's kind of insane. So we got a big ol' SBO now. Alright, so we gotta get SBO over here. Okay, SBO? SBO, sir? SBO, sir? Sir? Step forward a little bit, please. Thank you. Sound a button. <laughs> Yeah! So this is kind of what it's like. You're, you're doing all these weird little little tasks here. This is another tutorial level for us. Oh. Oh. Wait. We're gonna wanna jump off the other way. Oh. Well, it already opened, I guess. <laughs> I thought we had to. Ah! Oh well. Here we go. Chaos control. Next area. Wait, Espio's actually big. How did that happen? There's a there's little weird power-ups, Acemon. There's some there's some strange brew in Knuckles Chaotix. Oh, you know what? If anybody I can pick remembers them up. the uh, the multi ring from uh, Sonic Mania? This is where it came from. Yes, indeed. Yeah, the blue ring thing. Blue ring thing. 
from this game. Of course, the music that's playing right now, I always think of... Uh, generations? Like, yeah, the photo gallery and, and Generations. No idea it came from this game until, uh, like, at least a year later. Oh, yeah. Uh... Croissant King asks uh, me specifically, Skull, is it bad if I'm uh, scared of someone who is named after a lamp? That named a after a lamp? Question. I feel like Croissant King's always got <laughs> the strange lore. It's, uh, like, Croissant King, Spidey. Um, I don't know Croissant King. I, I, I'm, I'm not familiar with this person. There it is. There's the blue ring thing. Yeah. Turns our rings into big rings! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, this game was. Oh, now I'm a mini Nux. Oh my. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. 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 Super. Oh, <laughs> as he's growing. <laughs> uh, it's funny how all this game's problems are linked to the ring tether mechanic. Yeah, uh, it's it's something. It's not the greatest thing in the world, but I, it's kind of a unique thing. It's just... I wouldn't love a, another full game like this, you know what I mean? Whoa! Shadow Sephiroth! Member for nine months, welcome to DiGiorno. Hey, Vinny! So interesting that they titled the Year of Shadow Fearless. You know, like the Taylor Swift album, Fearless. Coincidence? I think not! You you are on to something, Shadow Sephiroth. Oh, I think man. I don't think that was a mistake. I think Taylor Swift is in on it. I think Taylor Swift is is out here celebrating Fearless Year Taylor of Shadow. Taylor Swift right now. is the voice of Shadow in Sonic. Oh, 3. My, oh God. my God! Confirmed. Paddington. They fired Paddington. <laughs> Fire. <Yeah. laughs> they keep on letting people announce that they're voicing Shadow and then firing him. What's up with that? Yeah. <laughs> Just noticed a blue spring. Forgot that about this game. Ah. Uh, oh dear. When it works, it works. We. Wahey. Two is gonna be twenty years uh, years old this year. I feel old. Oh, yeah. Man, I saw a clip from Shrek 2 yesterday, Same. and I was like, I don't know when the last time I watched this movie was. <laughs> Too long for me. Have a good day at work, uh, Shadow Sephiroth. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Chia, buddy. And Shadow Sephiroth, I don't think you were here earlier when I said the couple of things that are coming out for uh, the channel members, but there will be a Knuckles-themed thing and then a really fun old video that we'll be releasing uh, probably within the month. So be on the lookout. <gasps> Alright, we're going to show you one of these special stages, because we got one. This is the insanity that is a Knuckles Chaotix special stage. <laughs> so we gotta get blue spheres, but it's more complicated than that. Ugh. The world around us rotates. Sega really saw Star Fox and we're like, oh man, we gotta do something like this. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a lot better at these than the last time, but I guess it's because I've now I've been able to play them. 
クールオッケーおっ Wait, do I need zero or do I need four? おおおおおおおおおおおお But we'll see who we get as our friend out here. Because that's also how this game works. Is,、uh, you play a little UFO catcher to decide your partner. I forget if it's、uh, bomber heavy that、uh, if, you, uh, if you have them as the, as the partner, you, you just hold them in front of you forever、uh, and just have them destroy everything. Big brain. I, I mean, you can kind of do that with most characters. What is the lore of the Chaos Rings?、Um, they're the MacGuffins of this island, and you need to get them. Yeah. <laughs> We could read the manual, probably. Oh man, I、Marina、can't wait、Mads. for the,、uh, the Sonic Frontiers、uh, sequel. Whoa, I can't believe the Chaos Rings came from space! <laughs> We're just gonna carry our boy Vector. It's because I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Okay, thank you, Robert. Oh, we can't go. <gasps> oh, ho! Oops. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely an outlier in the classic Sonic canon. This game, I think, was only re released once on. Like, uh. What was that called? It was, uh. They used to advertise it on G4 all the time. Gamefly, I think. Really? Remember that? They had an online. Out of all things, Gamefly. Yeah, they had an online thing. Like, in like 2008. And it got re released on there. I have to look this up now. There we go. Whew. I am surprised it's still around. Is it? Apparently. Oh, that's so weird. This seems dangerous, Not... but we're going. Saying like a list of games that are available on it, so I'll just look up Knuckles Chaotix. Well, it's definitely not available anymore. <laughs> Knuckles looks so sad! <laughs> oh, we're Vector! Nice. Aha! Find the Blue Spheres! I didn't, I just didn't think we'd do well enough to get to any of these. So, this is pretty amusing. Despite interest from fans, it has not been re released beyond a brief period through Game Tap in the mid 2000s. Game Tap! That was what it was, yeah. Oh, man.
I knew it was game something. <laughs> Phil Sonic impression sound like an impression of Jason Griffith. Uh. I don't know. Oh. It's, it's just, just, like, Roger's just got like a, a very interesting Sonic voice in, in Frontiers. Cool. Look at his little legs. <laughs> he, he's just going. Press the X button to slide. Oh my god. Ooh, dear. <laughs> Seen one Fiverr voice actor doing a Roger Sonic impression. Pay me five dollars to impersonate Roger Craig Smith's <laughs> version of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Should I go on Fiverr and solicit myself? Maybe oh maybe. my god. Vector, run. Oh, what are you dear. doing, you idiot? Well, we made it. <laughs> cool! Personally, don't mind his voice in Frontiers. I appreciate them trying to do one. something different with the voice in the game, but I can understand why some people hate it. Hey, you know, you, you definitely hear, like, you know, for all the voice actors. I think Tails is, like, the least noticeable in that department. Everybody just kind of sounds a little more down. Yeah, that was the obviously the the direction. Um, yeah. Except the parts where Roger just kind of slips into his normal Sonic voice anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Wahoo! Here we go. Yeah. So the way you get a like the zone you go to is randomly selected. Which is a, another interesting part of this. Botonic Base! Neutrogic High Zone! That's where we are. That's the that's the island. It's Neutrogic High Zone. Yeah, I believe it's uh, every zone has like six acts and uh, it's all just randomized in the way that, uh, that you play all the acts. So you're constantly bouncing back and forth between different stages. Just taking my big old alligator out for a walk. Oh no. He's small now. I know he's a crocodile, guys. Leave me alone. Are we gonna get all the Chaos Rings on accident now? Maybe. <laughs> what clip of Shrek 2 did I watch? Uh, Rachel, it was... It was... It was the clip that references the white Bronco. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm playing this using my uh, USB. Oh, Genesis controller, which makes it feel real nice. I forgot I had this thing. I was moving some stuff around last night, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll probably use that tomorrow." Is that one of the uh, the 8-bit dough ones. The which one? Uh, 8-bit dough. I think, yeah. That sounds right. I got a Super Nintendo style controller from them. Very nice. <gasps> oh. Fell through a hole. Of course I'm too had, bad! You had the requirement too, and that sucks. Oh well. We've got that save file that has all of them, so we'll go over there whenever we're we're finished here. I don't know why, I'm having a good time with Vector. Vector's a, a cool, chill dude. I'd say so. Wahoo! Here we go. Vector's donut roll is amazing. Uh, the way his eyes yeah, it's, out it's pretty interesting. I like how when you're carrying him, it, it looks like Knuckles is uh, trying to run to the pool with, like, a big old floaty. 
<laughs> it totally does. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Time for a swim. <laughs> it's a very summery game for sure. I feel like all the levels have this very, very bright palette. The kid says knuckles don't run beside the pool. <laughs> Shut up, mom. Yeah, he, he's absolutely gonna uh, slip and fall and break his neck from that. Jen's in the chat. <gasps> Says, Jen? Is Knuckles using his friend as a weapon? Yes, indeed. Eh, you know how it is. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, haul your friend up and throw him at people. Yeah. Whoops. But Scully doesn't have it. Alright, Victor, here we go. Um, actually, if you, uh, if you look at the, like, one frame in, uh, in the Sonic CD opening animation where Sonic sneezes, uh, <laughs> when he, when he looks up, you can see he has a tiny neck. Good work, Vector. I always believed in you. Wait a minute. Does that mean I'm alone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guess I'm stuck in this dimension now. Hmm, wow. I my legs, I'm like Fred Flintstone in here. Yeah, but damn it, do. I want to invade the stream, but I'm getting ready for a hot date. Ooh. Ooh. Hope you Ooh. Have fun. Are you going to Costco? <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? I went to Costco today. Who wouldn't, says the guy who's never been to Costco. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall in that hole. Yeah, gonna share a real fruit smoothie. Aw, oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Don't fall in that hole. Oh my lord. Get out of there. Cool! Cool! Yay. Eight blue spheres to go! Find the blue spheres! Oh my god, there's buzz saws. Oh god. Knuckles, I'm starting to feel pretty unsafe in here! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Checking out a local Italian joint. Uh, we have you a, have a coupon. coupon? Oh my god. Oh man. You're In, unstoppable, uh, Jen. If you go into the sound test for Smash Bros. Melee, and you listen to the Japanese voices, the voice clip that is that says Giga Bowser, Giga Bowser, over here in America, says Giga Koopa, and it sounds like it goes, You got a coupon! <laughs> so I think about that all the time. <laughs> Vector, drink some water. That's just how the man sounds. Leave him alone. I've only been smoking cigarettes for half my life. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I was wondering if I could ask you something. <laughs> Who voiced him in the uh, in Sonic Heroes? Ah, uh, gonna have to go look that up. But, uh... He has, like, such an interesting voice in that game. Excuse me! He sounds more like a Muppet in that game, I feel like. Let's see here, Vector's voice in Sonic Heroes was Mark Biot. Uh, Mark what? Mark Biagi. Biagi? Yeah, uh, B-I-A-G-I. 
Oh Apparently he did some of the, uh, uh, some of the, like, uh, uh, calling in, this is, uh, this is Hotshot in, in uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Oh, wow. Well, oh, he's the voice of Gerald in Sonic Adventure 2 as well, oh man. No way! Wow. Oh, these ungrateful humans. Who's this broad? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the big Nux. All right, we got to get out of here. E help. Please help. Oh. Wait a minute. There's all these springs, but I feel like they're not getting me anywhere. Because I can't go through the... Oh, yes, I can. Got some uh, very confusing uh, vertical level design. Kind of one of this game's problems. NCT Studio says... Hello, Ed the Boys. <laughs> Hello! Oh, no, Vector, no! <laughs> I wanted you to stay up there. Only voice vector for Sonic, uh, Sonic Heroes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was the only that, time he, he was... appeared with the uh, Adventure Cast. Mm -hmm. After that, he was of course uh, voiced by uh, Jimmy Zoppy, who was uh, uh, the, the guy that uh, codified how Vector would be voiced for forever. Yeah. There we go. Really we interesting to, to hear like uh, the, the first uh, episode of X that the Chaotix are in because he's more or less doing an impression of uh, of the heroes actor. That's According how him, they... all of it is. It's so weird. Like like all of all of X is just like watching each actor develop the character into their own after doing an impression of whoever did them in the adventure games. Yeah. It's bizarre. For, uh, for, the, for the most part. Um, yeah. I would say it's very, very evident with with Mike and Jason. Yeah, oh, definitely. Uh, with, uh, with Jason. Uh, then, like, uh, according to the story, uh, they didn't have any... Somehow they didn't have their own tapes on hand to use as reference material when uh, when the Chaotix came back in Season 3, so uh, I, I think it was just, like, on the spot he just came up with the Vector voice. Incredible. <laughs> yeah. Way to go, Vector. We didn't get enough rings. <laughs> I love that Knuckles' <laughs> idol is just being so sad. <laughs> Introspective Knuckles time. And meanwhile, Vector's happy about not having to go to Vector's another one of those changes. Jamming. Uh, Kit, I mean, like, Vector is, Vector is competent, he's just kind of bumbling, and I, I think that Sonic X got that pretty well. Back at Botanic take? Base. Somebody asking how long it takes to beat this game. Uh, like an hour and a half, probably. A couple hours. Yeah, probably not that long. It's just the nature of, uh, of how these games were back then. An hour or so was a pretty standard time for platformers. Oof. It's like the first enemy I've seen. <laughs> yeah, sparse enemy placement, too. It's, 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 like, this game is just weird. The part in Heroes where Vector uh, makes that sneaky comment of uh, Mustache Moron just to confirm the true identity of their client was Chef's Kid. So who was it? Who locked you up here in order to take over the world? Oh my god, we're playing as Vector now. We got the switcheroony. Aw, uh, dude. They put us on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Vector Chaotix. Fast Vex. Oh! Back to Knuckles. Charmy just breaks the game. 
Yeah, there's like That's the true. two strategies, like the, the one that uh, I mentioned with uh, with heavy and then uh, playing as charming is also. Uh... Yeah, I think when we played this on Year of the Hedgehog, that was what I did. Was I played as Charmy? Because <laughs> yeah, it truly does break the game. Because you can just fly everywhere. <laughs> it takes a little bit to. Um, speaking from uh, Sonic Classic Heroes experience, where he has like the same controls, it takes a little bit to actually like get a handle of it. But once you do, it's it's so bro. mega OP. My friend's gone? Well, at least I got jams. <laughs> I'm the turn on the croc man. The croc man. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Uh, Monkey Dude 619 here says, uh, who do you hope uh, Shadow gets voiced by in Sonic Movie 3? Are we not going to comment on the incredible name of this person? <laughs> Dude 619. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, a another follower of Monkey Dude is uh, is uh, a, a true fellow in my eye. He said that so nonchalant. Monkey Dude. Uh, what was the question? Sorry. Who do you hope uh, Shadow gets voiced by in uh, Sonic Movie 3? Oh. Um, at this point, I don't know. Hayden Christensen will be really cool if that's a true rumor. Um, oh my god, there's a hole in the ground. Oh dear. I think that's the same hole I fell down as Vector. Otherwise, Robat, Bat and Bat, Robert Pattinson would be cool. You know, there's kind of like the usual suspects. I don't really have any like hot takes where I'm like, this guy should be Shadow. Uh, Adrian Pastar, the guy that played Nathan Petrelli in NBC's Heroes. It's gotta be Taylor Swift, man. Oh, that's right, yeah, I forgot. Taylor Swift is confirmed. <laughs> Incredible. Michael Sarah. Oh, God. I still remember what I promised you. <laughs> I must keep that promise. I promise you. Revenge! And pictures of Spider-Man! <laughs> Shadow, the gun troops are here. You serious? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not quite my tempo. In a perfect and ideal world, Jason. I mean, yes. Yeah, it'd be cool to see one of the game voice actors come back. It's it's kind of funny that like Tails gets that treatment. Um, but yeah, with a character like Shadow, it's definitely gonna be a name that they can put on the billing. Yeah, for sure. We're not supposed to go that way, huh? Christopher Walken for Shadow. Oh my god. I would love to have Christopher Walken in there somewhere, though. Christopher Walken as Gerald would be hype. Oh man. Like, if if there, if in this version of the movie, Gerald was still alive. Like, yeah. he'd be so, like, actually scary. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, either, either Gerald or, like, Crazy Carl's yet unseen brother. I think those would, those would be the two possibilities for Christopher Walken. <laughs> All of you ungrateful humans who took everything away from me will feel my loss and despair. Bruce Wayne, why are you dressed up like Sonic the Hedgehog? Lizards never scared me. Hedgehogs do. Because they're fast. Alright. We gotta get out of here, Vex. Oh.
Kid says, if any, and I mean any of the game cast is brought back for any of the Sonic characters, I legit want Dan Green to voice map. His performance is just chilling. Do you like me a bit of Dan Green? I like me a lot of Dan Green. Uh... Uh, Monkey Dude was, uh, saying I, I remember people wanting the actor of John Wick. I forgot his name, sorry, to do the voice of Shadow for a while. Can't picture him doing it. Keanu Reeves, yeah. I don't know, I think that's too on the nose. Key action guy with gun? <laughs> Jen says, I think Jen would make a great fit for Shadow the Hedgehog. Jennifer Aniston? Or perhaps, uh, <laughs> Time Soup Jen. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jen's advocating. There's no way that's who she meant. Alright, we're gonna do this one more time. I'm gonna stop jumping in these stupid rings if we don't get this. <laughs> you say that, and then you're absolutely gonna I know. just by instinct. I know how I am. I know how I am. <laughs> just by instinct. <laughs> I know how I am. This is who I am. What are some famous Shadow the Hedgehog quotes that we hope get into the movie? Uh, Other than, of course... <laughs> this is like taking candy from a baby, which is probably what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I went around that. No kung fu. It used to be chaos control. Dennis and I were talking about that earlier this week. Uh, how that was a four kids flub where they thought Eggman's base was chaos control. Was that was like yep. the name of his base? Pretty funny. And and it oh didn't get gosh, corrected for make... like five or six episodes either. Yeah. We're not gonna make it! Let's speed up! Oh no! Is that what chaos control is? Uh, no, Shadow, actually. The the writers, <laughs> they, they, they made it. No, oh, it's just a bad translation. <laughs> it was a different time. Pooh. No! I'm, I'm the coolest. Oh yeah. That oh my god, if they- if he- if he says that, I will lose it. I will- I- I'll do- He will actually explode. I- I'll just end up being Fidel on accident. Like, I will just get up out of my seat and, like, holler if that happens. I think that's, like, <laughs> the one thing that could possibly happen in that movie where I might have that type of overreaction. <laughs> it would be so hype! the coolest! <laughs> oh god! Okay. Stay focused. Oh, we did it. There you go. That wasn't so hard. Cool! Ah, Rouge. Did you tip me? From Rivals 2. Vinny will actually do a backflip in the theater. Yeah, like that... That one video of, like, the fight breaking out in the theater, and then, like, everyone, like, going nuts, and the one dude doing the flip. You know what I'm talking this about? This is a video I feel like I need to see. <laughs> <laughs> People use it all the time in, like, fake leaks. That sounds amazing. Speed Slider! Let's play Striker! 72 Ace Mon says, I has Borger. Oh my uh, god, I want a Borger. Borger sounds nice. 
I think I'm having chicken sandwiches tonight. Chicken sandwich also sounds oh. good. We lost Vector. Losing Vector sounds awful. Actually, I might think make things a little easier. <laughs> it could, actually. Oh, there he is. He's back. Uh, never mind. The physical return of Christ. Aha! <laughs> uh -huh! I've returned! Oh no, we're Vector. Oh no, we're Christ. <laughs> I, I don't know who that was, but uh, whoever uploaded that clip of Sonic Boom is entitled to video that. <laughs> and I, I love this person. Come on, Vector. <laughs> Monkey Dude says, I gotta say, uh, if you actually had the voice of Shadow in the movie, Vinny, IMO, you would be a perfect fit, and Skull would just be great in the movie no matter what role he gets. Oh man, I oh, didn't know I had nice. that kind of range. Yay! It's oh my Jim. god, is that Oogie Boogie? It's, it's me! It's Oogie Boogie! This is the off you? season! Yeah? What, uh, what are you doing this summertime? Oh, you know, toasting it up on a beach. Really? <laughs> Eating some more bugs. So I find that a little weird, because you're made of bugs, so how come you eat them? Where do you think the bugs come from? You So hold on, you just, like, stuff yourself more and more, and then, like, you what, what, so you don't poop? Is that what you're telling me? One of these days, Oogie Boogie's gonna be a Godzilla of a monster. Oh my god. How do you have enough burlap? I'm also a tailor. You're also a tailor? <laughs> it's how I got my start when I was a young bug man. Wow. You, I, your seams are pretty, like, like, they're pretty solid. Like, I can't tell, I can't tell, like, it, where you've patched yourself up. Yeah, have you ever heard of invisible mending? N no, uh, <laughs> not until now, so thank you. It's a tailoring technique. I bet. can't believe you didn't know about it. Well, kinda I'm like not the, a tailor. <laughs> kind of like the uh, the Henson scene. It's it's in it's in Facebook videos all the time. That's kind of not my algorithm. Oh, well, that explains it. So, as a tailor, what's your opinion on Tim the Toolman Taylor? He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> That's a stronger opinion than I expected. <laughs> What's your problem with him? Boogie his, boogie? His, whole, his whole deal is, is some patriarchal bullshit. Well, you know, that's fair. Uh, no, we, we gotta, I didn't we know you were so progressive. We, we got a pretty Oogie point. Boogie is very progressive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, speaking of that, uh, we have a very pointed question from uh, Super Epic Toad Bros uh, who asks, yes? uh, aren't, aren't you like a war criminal or something? <laughs> who, me? Yeah. Why, why would you say that? Well, I mean, you kind of like... I don't know, you held Santa hostage and you kind of like... You kind of like held Christmas hostage in a way. Yeah, not, not great for the resume. I was just real mad at that time. Everybody loves that Jack Skellington jerk, and he's just so full of cultural appropriation. What? I never liked him. Whose culture? Christmas. Elf uh, culture. Really? That and that really bothers you, huh? So hold really on. Why did you keep? Really got under my Why did you keep Santa captive then? It, so it, it angered you so much that you wanted to destroy Christmas. No, I didn't want to destroy Christmas. I didn't want to destroy Santa. I kept Santa captive, knowing that stupid Jack Skellington would show up at some point, and I hoped that he would die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting tactic. I was going to let Santa do Christmas after Jack Skellington died. Interesting tactic. Jack Skellington always marches around acting so noble. I knew he'd show up sooner or later. 
And I was right. Was I not right? I I guess. Yeah, and I tried to get my slot machine gangsters to shoot him. <laughs> How'd that work out? He just danced around him, and then he tap danced on top of the guns. It was it was really annoying. That sounds kind of cool. Didn't know he could move like that. Can you shake it like this? Remember that song? Oh yeah. I do not. I think that's Baja uh, Man. You, you were uh, you were in uh, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts as well. Uh, opinions on Winnie the Pooh? I was. You were. Oh, I guess I, I guess I was. You're in two of them. Three of it was them. A long, it was a long time ago. Oogie Boogie gets so much worse. <laughs> that was just a job it, for you. It all blurs together after a while. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, opinions on Winnie the Pooh? Oh, he's Did cool. Did you guys work together? He's, he's made a cloth, too. Is that canon? Yeah, Pooh's a, a plush toy. He's a, he's a stuffed animal. Oh. Even, like, in, like, the Hundred Acre Wood itself, he's a, still a stuffed animal? Yeah. Yeah. He has oh. scenes. I did not know that. Well! Oh, water under the bridge now. Alright. Come on. Here we go. Anyway, Oogie Boogie has to go. I got some bugs to eat. Alright, well, enjoy the bugs. Oh, I will. Thanks for, thanks for coming thanks. on the show, Oogie Boogie. I, we I, are Oogie come... Boogie. We are Nietzsche. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I don't know why, like, only villains show up to my show. We had Black Doom on the other day. It's a weird place. Oh, hey guys. Oh, hi, Jen. How Once again, going? another villain. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Boogie, uh, Oogie Boogie gave I... us an exclusive interview. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was... I don't know I how think... to feel about it. I think you just make villains feel very comfortable here. What, what, what is that supposed to mean? I don't know. <laughs> Why would that be? They don't, they don't. They don't think you're a snitch. So. <laughs> what you thought wrong? Did you have Call you have right you now. even once called the police on any of the villains? Okay, you you let the Riddler do a whole stream. Well, I, I, that was out of my control. I don't know about that. Or was that an either. executive decision? Did Opie choose that? Yeah, that was, that was kind of around that time, so. Mm. Very well could have been Opie. Yeah, he, he doesn't always make the best decisions. Finally, Oogie Boogie left. His jokes were terrible. You know, I caught some of it. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Boogie Boogie was a lot nicer to me than the last time I talked to him, actually. Well, maybe maybe he's uh, been working on, on himself, you know? His anger problems. <laughs> His anger problems. <gasps> Woo! Like, he, he seems to have redirected his anger toward, um, racism and sexism. You know, that's- that's healthy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Better outlet, for sure. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't really know what this... how useful this is for me. Yeah, I don't know if I like... stand to gain here. Get items, more rings. It's kind of fun though. It's weird looking. We're out of here. You should say the iconic "damn" fourth chaos emerald line. That would, I think, someone might say that in the movie. I think that one has, has the potential. I don't know if Shadow himself will say it, but I think that has like, potential. Like Tom uh, is just like cleaning up after one of Sonic's messes or something like near the beginning of the movie, uh, and he's just like, "What's that damn fourth chaos emerald?" I'm thinking <laughs> like, like just... one of the one of the people from Gun. 
just just so casual. There we go. Imus Abe in the chat uh, says, uh, "Are you winning, son?" I think. We had a giant vector for a bit, so uh, we we can call that winning. Well, that's that button's not doing anything. In a PG movie, no way. I mean, you can say damn in a PG movie. Yeah. They, he said, "I'm the Donut of... Lord, you dump, you son of a bitch." I think they said "damn" in one of the Sonic movies already. Yeah, I, they they swore in both of them. Uh, it, Sonic <laughs> made a probing joke in the first ones. <laughs> you know. They... Oh, where's Dennis? He knows the script. Summon him. Dennis? Oh, hello? Didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'll take it. Climbing up lots of walls. It's kind of what this game has become. It's a very vertical game. Sorry if that came through. I accidentally slapped my mic twice in a row. <laughs> Didn't hear it at all. Man, what did your mic Perfect. do to you? Uh, it was in my way. Oh. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> Sing my love is your love to summon Dennis. Oh, I don't know if that'll work. You have the speed shoe theme on hand. No. Uh, Emo's asking, how are you doing, Jen? Me? I'm just trying to make this ugly mug attractive enough for a restaurant in the public. You know? <laughs> Don't talk about my friend that way. <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, I'm super gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of vanity we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm moving on to uh, eyeshadow. Do I wear eyeliner? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> What did the mug do? <laughs> do it on one eye, but not the other. Um, probably not. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> uh, fun idea, though. <laughs> Keep your husband on his toes. He, he would never expect that. Ooh, I could come out looking like a Picasso. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, use contouring to make one eye look really droopy and make one eye look really high up on my face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet I could do that. <laughs> make one Gotta eye hit... look really wide open and make the other eye look weird and tiny. <laughs> hit him with yeah. your best Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Oh. You guys ever seen the meme where, uh, it was, um... Oh. This, this dude posting a picture it was like, uh, Mr. Potato Head upside down looks like Steve Harvey. And then Steve Harvey responds, please stop sending this. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Wait, wait. But did he look like Steve Harvey? He, he did it, actually. <laughs> it's the mouth and the mustache. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's the same. And, and like, when, when when it's upside down, it, it does it, it does kind of look like a human head. Oh. Only one boy. Well, then you pick me. Oh, don't count on it! 
Uh, I don't even know where any of them are. Hello, Blue Sphere, are you there? It's me, Knuckles. You just gotta believe. Ow! I don't really believe. <gasps> Sonic! I did it! Well, this stinks. I can't find the ring I wanted to wear. Have you checked in your heart? <laughs> oh, let me let me take a look. Oh. <laughs> Kalima! <laughs> oh my god! No, it's oh. not in here. I think I think it's Jover, dude. If all else fails, you could, uh, of course, just uh, you know use one of those uh, one of those bread ties. You know that that looked pretty fancy. Mm, I, could I also think that just wear a different a ring. ring. <laughs> no, I like this idea, bread tie. <laughs> this is oh. how we promised our love to each other with this bread tie. I love my husband so much. We didn't have a lot of money back then. It's that run game on cool math. Oh, I think... Well, whatever. It was like, do you want to do the thing? And then I just walked right past it. I should have I should have grabbed a different partner just for variety's sake, but we still got Vector, guys. I mean, you know. Vector's cool. He's, he's a big old gator man. He's, he's a big croc old croco gator. man. He's a homie. I like how it's a bread tie oh. and not a, a ring pop. Oh, ring pop's are really fancy. That's, uh... Yeah, that's ring too pop, fancy. That's like... That's matrimony. It's also... That's, uh, it's, it's impractical. <laughs> that's the kind of ring you wear when, when you're... Uh, when you're a member of that, uh, that one, like, exclusive club in, uh, in Disney parks. You gotta, you gotta be that rich and famous. I've looked, I looked at a bunch of rings recently, and I don't understand how people function with the rings where it's like five millimeters off the finger, just <laughs> pointing up. That would get in my way so much. I don't get it. Well, we got heavy now, so I guess we can test out this. Break through everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's scary. Hello. Break through it all! Although I think he's turned back into Vector. Oh. oh never mind. Can you hear this creature? Nope. Say? No. He's just screaming in the back. <laughs> Classic loud boy. Classic loud boy. Classic. Yeah, it's the big Nux. Alright, here we go. Oh... There we go. It says, uh, Team Chaotix are kind of bros to Shadow when you think about it. SPO kept Shad's uh, focus during his identity crisis. Vector did his best to uh, comfort him. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a terribly good job of it, but sure, the effort was there. Uh, and Charmy was a huge fan of Shadow. He tried, okay. <laughs> oh. Don't count on it. Shadow, you're so cool. <laughs> Thanks, Charmy. I really needed the emotional support. Super Epic Toad Bros hitting us with. Hey, don't go there! Yet! <laughs> <laughs> Yet? Horrible. <laughs> oh, is it boss time? <gasps> oh man. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, Vector. Vector, no. I threw him right in there. It's Jover, dude. Oh, oh no way. 
We are the Wrecking Ball from Sonic 1. Ow! <laughs> God, I can't move really right now. <laughs> Get this stupid thing out of my way. <laughs> it said my favorite non-final boss theme in the game, and uh, this, this this is a pretty jamming tune. I'm not gonna lie. Pretty there good. Go. Most of the tunes in this game are pretty jamming. Oh no. Get out of there, Knuckles. Get out of there, Knuckles. Oh my god. Please. Please. You're gonna believe, Knuckles. Please. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. It's like, it's, the collision detection is so weird right there. Oh! There we go. <laughs> Yay! Whew! <laughs> Spin dash once! <laughs> Great! Knuckles has lost his momentum! <laughs> All right, let's see if we can exchange this guy. Wow, we still haven't gone to this level at all. Oh, wow. Oh, I think I do need to... Oh, maybe not. All right. No way! <laughs> I wanted that armadillo! Huh? I wanted the armadillo! <laughs> Can I do it again? There's no way it lets me do it again, huh? Alright, fine. Vector and Knuckles bros for life. Hey, there we go. Finally. Aha! Amazing arena. Doesn't look so amazing to me. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that's the thing with this place. all scary and then you press a button and I got better this is the level that it was like you really really want Charmy yeah. <laughs> and he says uh, yeah it looks pretty stupid TBH <laughs> There we go. Money! Says, speaking of Sonic CD, that uh, levels, this level rather color scheme certainly reminds me of some of the areas of uh, the Little Planet. Yeah, a little bit. Got some uh, some collision chaos kind of vibes. A, a little collision chaos, a little wacky workbench. Yeah. Oh, it's Jover. <laughs> oh dear. 
I'm out of here. Did I lose a ring from that somehow? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, because uh, uh, the amount of rings oh, that you have is your timer in, uh, in the special stage and the bonus stages. We're going this way, Vector. We're going this way. Flying Saucer! Man, that was the worst carnival ride Whoa. I've ever been on. You know what's weird? What was that, Vinny? The, the Archie adaptation of this game. I can believe it. It's like a rat guy. Is it a cool rat? <laughs> no. He's like, a filthy rat. And, uh, he opens up a theme park on Angel Island, but it's a, it's not a good, good place. Oh god. Oh man. Is it like the rat guy in Batman Beyond? The rat guy in Batman Beyond? Yeah. I don't, I don't remember the rat guy. You th weren't you rewatching the show? I don't think it was even from an episode that was that far in. The rat guy? That's one of the, the episodes that I remember from uh, from when I was a kid. Yeah, that one stuck with me until because it's I like cursed it as an adult. Well, it doesn't. Most of it doesn't follow Terry. Well, we follow the rat. No, it's, it mostly follows his girlfriend, Dana. Oh. Yeah, so, uh, like... Is that the one where everyone's I... getting, like, the body mods? No. No, there's there's this weird... It's this weird little freaky rat guy, and he, he loves Dana. Oh, no. and he has he has He's got a bunch of rats, and he kidnaps her, and he's like, here, you can live in the sewers with me. And she's like, no? And he, go, he gets, like, really mad about it. Well, that seems r relatable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, as, as I remembered it from back then, like, he, uh, he, he does some stuff to, like, kind of get into her favor at first, and then, uh, and then he pulls the, like, oh, you, you can, you can live down here with me, you're my wife now, or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's all the, it's all the fancy flowers that smell really good to counteract the sewer stink. <laughs> so, so she That'll do escapes it. <laughs> on her own until Batman comes in at the very end to, like, finish the job. Yeah, and then uh, Terry shows up. Job. Obviously, she's like in shock, and there's like <gasps> we got mighty emergency people there, and he's like, hey, "Are you okay?" And she's like, "Shut up, Terry!" <laughs> Shut up, Terry! You're not as cool as Batman. You know who saved Incredible. me? Incredible. She's she was low key like it's your fault. <laughs> I mean, that man is not good at prioritizing time. Yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. And that's, like, very much a thing in, in that show in general. Is it, He's a teenager. He can't split his time very well between being Batman and being a little guy. <laughs> Look at poor Vector. Oh, he's trying. Get me up there, Vector. Oh yeah, now my face looks presentable. It's all coming together. Come on, we're so close, Vector. Just let me up there. Get me up there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't even trying that time. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> Just happened. The game was like, alright, enough of this. Use the get unstuck button. 
I did. It was amazing. I remember one of the uh, the big improvements that they added between, I think it was Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, is uh, they added a thing where you can tell your friend to Tell him what? You could tell him to get out of the way. Because in oh. Fallout 3, it was a regular issue. Your companion would be in a doorway of a small room, and then you just couldn't get out. Dude, Knuckles' idle animation is a big mood. Weren't you talking earlier about how he's just, like, sad, or is this... Yeah! <laughs> Look at him! Are you okay, man? <laughs> he, he really is just contemplating everything. Knuckles is the most relatable character for Millennials because he's having some sort of existential crisis. <gasps> oh! Uh-oh. We pressed exit on accident. Yay! Knuckles. Oh, that now we get to choose a new partner. All right. All right. How much money no on it more being vector? vector. I don't want a vector. No more vector. Oh my God, no! <laughs> yeah, man, vector. Let's go. Hell yeah. Well, some Vector. <laughs> oh, they're sharing secrets. Vector, I've got to tell you something. What? What is it? I don't like you very much. What? Knuckles, I thought we go on great. It's just that you've been here the whole time. Yeah, so? You're kind of hogging the spotlight. Who's spotlight? Whoa! I'm stuck with him. Good. Yes, we stand Vector. Yeah, absolutely. Kit says we love Vector in this house, sir. Aha! Espio, Knuckles, Mighty, Charmy B. Yeah, I like how the title card just yells all their names at you. It's like all four right, well, exclamation marks. As much as, as much as I want to see you uh, work with Vector for the rest of your life, um, I gotta go. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I had a good time. Uh, if Oogie Boogie comes back, tell him hi for me. I, I will. <laughs> Bye. Have Bye. fun, Jen. All right. Elevator time. This game's got a really cool, like, day and night uh, cycle. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Vector is life. Mighty. Vector is life. Oh, you know it. You know it, Crossmare. Look at that. 55 seconds. Yay! I'm a Hooray. dentist! Yay! <laughs> he turned back into Vector right at the end. <laughs> Bye, Z's Jen. of X. We're getting a new partner, I swear. Espio! Aw, oh, man. Queen Espio's cool and all, but... Ninja Hearts, camouflage! Chat's hyped on Espio, as they should be. 
Techno Tower! Here we go. This is a target. Tiger uppercut. <laughs> Spidey here says purple guy. Purple guy. They were going to name him Nurple, and then they decided that wasn't the way to go. <laughs> what do you mean we can't call him Nurple the Ninja? That's weird, you can't climb that wall. I'm just <gasps> I want to see how Charmy breaks the game. I mean, that would be, uh, would be yeah, interesting it's, to see. Yeah, it's mostly just, uh, you can just fly anywhere is kind of how it works. And it acts um, as like a dash attack too, so it, it yeah. beats enemies. Hurts enemies, yeah. So when you're, when you're Charmy, you're basically nigh invulnerable and can get anywhere. I'll show you in a little bit though. Oh, and then you go backwards. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, this game's already called Nipples Chaotix after Nipples the Enchilada, so Nurple the Purple. <laughs> it's not that weird of an idea. It's Nurple Alicia. the Purple. Nurple the Purple. It's my favorite Sonic character. Ow. Oh, Nurple's Antibiotics is my favorite game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's keep going with SBO for a bit. You blew it! <laughs> Did you know? Thank you for bringing it back. The was originally going to be called Nurple the Purple. He was given a more dinosaur-like design. Here's, here's an artist's impression of how he might have uh, sounded like. Hi, everyone. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> they made the right choice. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, dude's dribbling. Double dribbling. That's a technical foul. My dude should have gone to the NBA instead of uh, being an enemy in this game. <laughs> oh, come on, Nurple. You can do this. There you go. Says that was an illegal left, by the way. <laughs> wow, just accidentally fell into a secret. Whoa! Break the targets. <laughs> A new knuckles. <laughs> Alicia says, "Skulls, hi everyone." Uh, sort of reminded me of that Jet video where he did the same voiceover parody thing of the 06 scene where Mephilus is right about to travel in time with Blade and Silver. I don't recall seeing that one. I don't think I've seen that one either. I'll look for it after we're done streaming, though. I love Are Jet you Studios. saying that Mephilus sounds like Barney the Dinosaur? I can only hope. <laughs> oh, yes. 
Oh my god, guys, I found a Mephilus action figure. Oh yeah, they did uh, release that recently. Yeah, I found one in stores finally. Been looking for like three months. Nice. Oh no, he doesn't sound like Barney? Ah, disappointed. I don't know anyone who wouldn't want Barnephilus. <laughs> Ouch. Green. Oh my god, what is this? It's not gonna come back and squish us, is it? Is it his regular is copycat shadow form or the more uh, crystallized form? It's the crystallized thing. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god. Not that I doubt any uh, action figure manufacturer wouldn't uh, salivate at the idea of uh, just <laughs> repainting a, Shadow. <laughs> yeah, just selling a repaint of the same figure that they've already made. Uh, but uh, the the crystal form is a little more uh, marketable for merchandise, I think. Except for the fact that like they didn't give him proper feet, which I think is weird. So like he comes with a little stand. Well, he does have feet, but the stand is optional. They just gave him it for aesthetic. Yeah. <gasps> Woo! Well, well we rode the, the big elevator. Now, what? Yeah, his toes are molded. <laughs> it's odd. Uh, in a first for Sonic, they molded in the toes. My god. Uh, Crossmere here says, uh, I'm sick of seeing, like, a dozen Neutron figures on the shelf instead of some characters I don't already have. I remember looking, uh, one time in the, in the store, uh, like, it's, uh, it's like a regional Walmart equivalent called Meyer. Uh, so, like, you know, they, they got all the same departments, they're about the same size and whatnot, so I looked in the toy section just, uh, just to see what they had, uh, for, uh, you know, Sonic, Power Rangers, Mario, what have you. Uh, I, d I don't know, like, what what this store is doing with, like, its organizing and, what and whatnot, but, like, basically everything had this teeny tiny, just sliver of shelf space, and then Pokemon just had this huge, uh, <laughs> it, it was like, Pokemon was, like, half the aisle. Uh, and then everything else was just really, really condensed. Like, even, even like, Marvel and, and all that, it was, it was nuts. So, like, uh, if I remember correctly, they only had the, like, uh, what is it, two and a half inch figures? Uh, like, the small yeah. ones? Uh, and it was, it was just, like, one row of only classic tales. That's all the Sonic they had there at the time. I went to Walmart last year, they were a little more varied, but it, it was kind of like an opposite case where they had, like, so many Help different things me. that everything still had, like, a small amount of shelf space, but at least there was, there like, more. Go. Okay. Don't. Duh. All right, we're gonna try climbing over here. <laughs> ah, ceiling. <laughs> All right, well, where am I supposed to be going? I'm so confused. Meyer's toy section has just uh, been underwhelming ever since the pandemic. It kind of was, like, you know, I, I love Pokemon, you know, uh, but, like, 
it just took up so much of the aisle in comparison to everything else. And again, like, it, it, you know, everything else included stuff like Mario, Marvel, DC, all these huge franchises, uh, WWE, you know, it, it's just kind of surprising that all this other really also huge popular stuff didn't have very much shelf space at all over there. Stores in my area only ever have classic Sonic and or random bad Nick and way too many of either. Uh, darn that's yeah, that's how, uh, that's, they're, they, uh, oh my god. <laughs> by complete accident. Um, because when they send out the cases, uh, whatever the Sonic figure is in the, in the series is the one that you get, like, multiples of, so, like, if you're ordering the two and a half inch figures, a full case will get you 12 total figures, I think. And over six of them are Sonic. Is that how you do it at the. Uh, yeah. Shop? Yeah. I, you know, um, as I was out and about yesterday, uh, I, uh, I did discover that there is uh, like a, a local uh, uh, comics and collectible shop as like we were passing by. And I, I did like immediately wonder like what their selection was. We'll have to visit there some point. Yeah, everywhere is different, but it never hurts to look. It, it was like so small, like such a, a small uh, uh, strip mall. And I'm surprised I, I caught it. There's apparently two stores like that around there. Uh, and I was talking with my mom about it. I was like, you have to go visit there at some point. Uh, I hate because pretty much everybody has at least one version of Sonic by now. Yeah, I I wish that they would do it with like a character like Shadow or something, you know. Vary it up a little. Exactly. They've at least been doing like variants on Sonic now, so like you've got like a grimacing Sonic now, like an angry looking Knuckles also. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I need to look into uh, some more of that stuff. I got some uh, on my Amazon list. Uh, it, the only figures I still have uh, from like the Jax line still are uh, the Sonic and Amy that I got for my last two birthdays. Sweet asks, what should I get for dinner? And uh, me being me, uh, I'm going to say pizza because I'm predictable. Burger. You know what? That's not a bad choice either. <laughs> Burger pizza? Get a Baconator pizza? from Wendy's. Oh, man. Pretzel Baconator right now. Oh, dude. Available only for a limited time. Not as good as the pub, but... Baconator's just... It's, it's comfortable, you know? Yeah. You? Oh, the switch turned it back up. I see. Ooh. Not a big pizza person. Sorry, Skull. <gasps> oh, my heart. Don't tell any turtles. Shattering. No, you're, you're free to your, uh, your opinion, uh, I'm sweet. Uh... My brother works at a place that sells geek stuff, and they have zero comics. WTF. This is Spidey. Ah, man. That's unfortunate. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of, uh... There's not a lot of places that still... Still sell comics. Like, individual issues, anyway. Hey, Shadow Star, welcome in. Oh, hi. No need to be sorry about uh, about the time that you got in. Oh my goodness, strongest man alive. Oh, we sent Vic. We we sent Espio to the Phantoms. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh man, white sauce pizza, Lily Bunny is. It's Chef's Kiss! 
I have no idea what white sauce is, but I do remember, uh... One time my brother got this, uh, this frozen pizza that was, like, it was, uh, like, um, braided, uh, crust and, like, uh, white sauce and it had kale on it, and then he added, uh, uh chicken to it as well, and it was really good. Mm. Yeah, I love a white sauce chicken pizza. That's good stuff. Yeah, you know, I, I, I would still, like, you know, eat my, uh, you know, like pepperoni over it or whatever, but, like, that, that would be a good uh, occasional pizza. SBO kind of looks stocky from the back, says, uh, says Kit. He does look a little weird. Yeah. He is kind of thick, but I think it's his tail. It's wagging. Wagging all around. Oh, oh man. That's Look some that. tricky business they got going on. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. I'm the best. Around. Oh my goodness! Dude, the skills on it. display right now. I'm, I'm just crushing this. Oh my god. Okay, we got this. Now don't die. Man, you see we did this, it. This, this we did it. Cool. Right don't give this man problems at the community picnic. Bump, 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 bump. We got a purple fruit loop. <laughs> okay. Man, I want Fruit Loops now. Has SBO outlived his usefulness, or should we keep him? Uh... Oh, I guess we're keeping him. <laughs> For now. Definitely gotta show Charmy at some point. Yeah, oh yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, we'll do Charmy next level. We gotta be coming up on like a bunch of boss fights. So yeah, we're going to have one today for Techno Tower. Get yourselves ready for a fart. Ch Chance Brown says, When it comes to Espio, he's more hardworking while Vector is hitting on Kratos Prime. <laughs> <laughs> that is Vector's entire character. <laughs> Little Knuckles. You've heard of the Little Rascals, but what about the Little Knuckles? Uh, it's absolutely one of my favorite things about uh, Season 3 of Sonic X, though. Where they, it, but Orchids must have really just had a problem with losing reference material or whatever, because Vanilla is never referred to by name in that season. She's just called Cream's Mom, and it's the funniest thing ever. That is really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> we were tethered to that part of the wall. This game is wank. This game is whack. Oh my god. Giant mini Run at away! The same time. <gasps> oh, we're Espia now. Ninja Arts. Camouflage. I 
forgot he does the twirl. Okay, here we go. <gasps> you blew it! <laughs> oh man. Take the elevator. Okay. Look at this idiot. <gasps> He's like, say that again. <laughs> Ow. SPO, get a ring, get a ring, get a ring, get a ring. <gasps> oh, uh, SPO, God. No. We gotta be very careful. I don't know if Espio's coming back. <gasps> there he is. All right. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, we've got this. We've got this. I like to have Espio as human armor, though. Come back! Come back! My shield! Come back! Get him! Yeah! <laughs> I threw my friend at him and we won! <laughs> Knuckles, I didn't really appreciate that. That, that wasn't my favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't sweat it, SBO. All right. Hashtag clutch. That's why they call me clutchels. All right. I'll show you some Charmy B. I thought it froze. That scared me. <laughs> okay, cool. Charmy B. Look how small he is. Hey, teeny. He it's Charmy the time. At the controls. Knuckles. Oh, hey, we can't go. not have Knuckles. It's his month. I'll show you what true cheese really is. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Look at that idiot. <laughs> okay. What is this one? This was the speed slider. To be fair, this is his first appearance. In the games, anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. Technically, he was in the uh, Sonic manga. Which the name of escapes me. <laughs> I think it's just called Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, fastest character in the game. Most OP character in the game. <laughs> it just says F you to a level design. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this man, he's unstoppable. Double dribble, get out of here. Go back to the Utah Jazz or wherever. The Utah Jazz. Go this way. 
Hopi, that's right. Did he get his treat yet? Oh, he has not. We're gonna need an Opie break. I think we will. Gotta find this... Find the goalpost. Where is it? <laughs> Well, we found this, which is not what we wanted. But I'll take it. Get me out of here. All right. No way we're supposed to go down. Maybe. Oh my god, this is disorienting. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god. If I was the goalpost, where would I be? <laughs> At the end of the level. You would think. <laughs> but that's where you'd be wrong. <laughs> Chaos control! Ooh. Oh my gosh! Shadow Star, thank you for two Vindo. Hashtag shoots for Opie, hashtag needs crunch, hashtag needs more Opie. You're right. I gotta get out of here first. We're so close to Venom. Where am I? Can you imagine if Charmy got his own uh, first game other than Knuckles Camp? If, if there was just a Charmy game? I'd play it. <laughs> and if there was a Charmy game, what Kind of game I hope they'd put in, like, all of the weird lore of him and, like, Archie and stuff. Oh my god. Wait. Uh, Both? What if they made a Charmy game that was just a clone of Flappy Bird? Incredible. <laughs> Both Fleetway and Archie have, like, horrifying lore for Charmy. Fleetway has a lot of, uh, horrifying, uh, or, like, when you're really Yeah, I, I want to read all of Fleetway. It seems just too crazy. It's, it's, from all I know, pretty wild. In the Archie comics, Charmy was, of course, introduced pre-Super Genesis Wave, and he was, like, 16 or so, uh, just, like, said in the game's manual, so it was Yeah, I was gonna say, the game's the manual said he's 16. <laughs> Yeah, and then, uh, it's, instead of just doing it some other way, uh, Oh my they, uh, god, yeah. They gave him head trauma, and, uh, and, and now he's... Oh god. Tales coming from a land of magic and fantasy. Yeah, that one, oh. uh, that one surprised me. I think it's hopefully on this plane of existence. Maybe not. Where is Maybe this? Someday. Where where have we not gone? This is insane. We picked the wrong level to Charmy beat it up. Yeah. <laughs> These are all non-linear. That's the problem. Like, these ones are just super weird. What? 
What the what? What? <laughs> That's that's dumb. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's get Opie a treat. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna grab some water while I'm up. Jambo. Ask Skull any question, and he will answer it. Any question? Any question? However, you're not allowed to cheat by asking like what my uh, what my bank card is, because then the answer is going to be none of your business. Uh, Skull can ask a question. Yes, you can. However, you already used it up. Uh, how's your day been, Skull? Uh, pretty alright. Uh, allergies are kind of getting to me, though. It's been really rainy for, uh, last few days. Uh, Skull, what is the worst joke Vinny has ever told you? And I remember one Come time, on. Vinny, Vinny was like, good uh, jokes. <laughs> Vinny was like, hey, Skull, what do you get when, and then he just punched me in the face. And then he told me that was the punchline, and... You know, I just, I just didn't get it. Favorite Look cupcake up for my app for this. Huh? We woke him up for a nap. From a nap for uh -huh. this. Oh. Oops. <laughs> Look how sleepy he is. Oh, there he is. There's the boy. There's the Opie man. Oh yeah, he's so tired. He wants nothing to do with this right now. <laughs> Alright, let's give him a treat. He looks so- he's so well behaved today in contrast to like the last few times he's been on. Yeah, he's, he's been a real menace uh, as of recent. Alright, Opie, let's hear it. I love that he always looks up at me afterwards. <laughs> Yo, you got any more? <laughs> I I don't know if it was just on my end, but it sounded like he he chewed like really slow. He kind of did. He, he he savored that one. I wish you guys could see the POV when he just stares up at me and looks me in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> This is some premium Opie content right now. It actually, yeah. Was that a kiss or a bite? Sometimes I can't tell Opie. Uh. You All love right. me or are you annoyed by me? Let's give everybody one last good look at the Opie guy before I let him go take his nap. He's biting me now. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's like, well, you've had your fun, child. All right. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get this squishy guy out of here.
It's the Stash Smasher. All right, I guess we're getting this over with. You're on a plane, let's start gaming? Oh my. Well, thanks for being here. Speed Slider. Sam Speed Slider. <laughs> Instead of a boss uh, at the very end, turn into Sam Speed, and he's like, okay, here you go. And then he just lets it through. <laughs> you gotta outrace me if you want to get through. I'd say we need OP Cam, but that would be dangerous. I mean, you know, you could just stick a GoPro to him. <laughs> See what Opie gets uh, gets up to in his in his daily life. It would be very boring. <laughs> I'm just telling you that right now. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. We're going down this thing. Come on, Knuckles. Come on, Knuckles. Come on, Knuckles. No! Come on, Knuckles. Come on, Knuckles. There you go. Ha! I figured it out. <laughs> They're down, those things! Are we are we stuck? What's happening? This might be an R.I.P. error. Ah! An R.I.P. event. I don't know what happened right at the start there. That was weird. Oh, that's right. You gotta hit it in the chaos ring. Okay. Oh. Start says the quality Rip. of crap on the plane. Oh no. I'm sorry. And then to top it all off, I died. Damn. On the topic of uh, of an uh, OP video. Uh, Sweet says that's for channel members. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> and then Shadow Star said, "Nap, eat, litter box, find sunny spot, nap, repeat." That's pretty much it. Noise it makes is so funny to me. Thank you, Knuckles. Okay. <gasps> looking for uh, <laughs> when, when you said that the, the OP video would be very boring there's a, a whole genre uh, that, uh, called the uh, slow television <laughs> it's just so, boring like uh, in just in terms of like it, <gasps> <laughs> we got scary knuckles for a second <laughs> <laughs> 
Just like a that actually computer. looked like, uh, actually, I think that's the glitch that caused, uh, uh, the character design for, for one of the, like, echidnas in the comics. Oh, man. Simply sweet. Game's going so far so good. I think we'll, like, tech. I, we'll pretty much just be able to play through the whole game today, so that's cool. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't sure. I thought we might play through, like, half of it, and then I'd be like, alright, final boss time, but there's only, like, three more levels, so. Something to go to bed to. Uh, yeah, so, uh, like, hey. slow programming, slow television, whatever, it's just, like, a show made out of, like, a really long shot of, of something, so there was, like, uh, a Canadian program on uh, some channel, just for example. That, Ouch. Uh, in, instead of just, like, signing off for the night uh, at, like, 2 a.m. or whatever, they would put on this show where it was, like, they just had uh, a camera mounted to, uh, like, the dash cam of, or, sorry, to the dash of a car, and, uh, like, just had a dude just, like, drive around uh, Ontario or whatever for uh, for a few hours. And they would just Interesting. show Interesting. Yeah. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Have a good night, NCT Studio. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. That's what inspired three characters, actually. Zachary the Echidna from, uh... That'd be Fleetway. Dr. Uh, Finitivus from Archie. And Dr. Starline is... That's interesting. Oh, the color palette. Yeah. I never would have put the, uh, those two together. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, and the Emperor from Sonic Chronicles. I should play Sonic Chronicles on stream. Oh man, that'd be a series. That would. It'd be so slow, but it'd be kind of fun. Crack of my knuckles says, hey Vinny and Skull, how are you guys? Great. How are you? Thank you for being here. Yeah. Don't you dare, says it. <laughs> you don't want to hear the sweet, sweet sounds of... the sweet, dulcet tones... of Sonic Chronicles? You don't want to hear that, that beautiful Atari 2600 music? Aha! Okay. Correct! Go down the hole. Go, go, go down the hole. Knuckles. The hole. <laughs> Knuckles. Phil says, if you play Sonic Chronicles, then you should do the side quest where you buy a newspaper for a guy who's on the toilet. And yes, that's a real side quest in the game. Hell yeah. I, I don't remember that, but I only played that game, the, like, the when it came out was when I played through that game, so. I still have it. It's just one of those games that, yeah, I'd have to get an emulator to stream, which, I mean, doing right now, but... <laughs> Get me out of here! Um, like what that that scenario that Cal mentioned, like just, just imagine Sonic walking down the street. Oh yeah! And then it's just like, oh my god, is it Sonic the Hedgehog? Hey, I'm taking a shit. <laughs> 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 Yeah, how does how does that come together? Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, here we go. Alright, Knuckles. Grab my hand. Come on, you idiot. 
That's pretty much what go. happens, actually. Skull. Oh my god. Sonic, you don't understand how much I need a newspaper right now. Alright, fine, I guess. Jeez. <laughs> it's in Blue Ridge Zone. Ah, I shoot. found it by complete accident. There is some sort of glitch happening at the start here, where I get uh, frozen to the side here. Yeah, that's... quite strange. I just love making Sonic a jerk in that game, and <laughs> his friends Yeah, that is really, really fun. <laughs> what? Uh, what?! <laughs> the bumper killed you? The thing that I hit... Killed me. That is uh, bizarre. I don't know what's going on with that boss fight. Oh. Uh oh. Maybe don't be charmy. I guess this Maybe. is our chance. I'm going to be our. Okay. Got SBO again. I literally I can't tell if that was a glitch or what is going on in that boss fight, because that was pretty bizarre. Guess we'll find out. Eggman's diabolical trap. All right. Yeah, I'm really curious about this getting the man on the toilet a newspaper mission. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't know about that. That's incredible. Traversing is so much easier with Charmy, that's for sure. <laughs> the tether makes it so hard. <gasps> Sir? Sir? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, put us out of our misery, please. Okay. <laughs> Just run at full speed, SBO, thank you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Alright. You're gonna stand right there. Now you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna stand right there. And then we're gonna charge this up. Cool. Good for him. 
All right, here we go. All right, SBO. The name of the game is not to die. Correct me if I'm wrong, but not all the characters' pal moves are compatible with each other. Oh man, it's been so long since I played that game. Ouch. It definitely does push you to the to the right for whatever reason. But yeah, Charmy has a way worse time getting out of it. Cool. I think it's because he can't really technically jump. I think that was what the problem was. Espio's back! Kel says, I'll help you find it if you play it on your stream. Thank you, I appreciate that. Yeah, we'll get it figured out. Because, yeah, I'd like to play the Rush games, too. That'd be fun. Oh, oh, we got the bee. We got the bee. Yeah, SBO's spinning all over the place, Sim Simply Sweet. It's M.O. in this one. Modus Aperandi! Uh, this is the one that it's actually really good to be, Charmy. So maybe I should actually swap. So we can just clear these out as Charmy. These amazing arenas. the direction we want to go. Charming. Sir. Sir. Aha. Cat. <gasps> Ow. I found it a missed opportunity to have Eggman have combo moves with Team Dark because, like, he technically is on Team Dark in SA2, and he's also Omega's dad, basically. Yeah, that would've been that would've been really cool. Charmy, why why do you why are you having so much trouble, man? Charmy, I swear. I swear. Charmy. Thank you. There we go. Charmy, can I can I ask you a favor? Could you please just like fly over this thing for me? That'd be really cool. That'd be really swell. Actually, I don't even think I can get over that. Okay, never mind. We're going over here. No. <gasps> What's mighty? I feel like all of these have given me mighty. Wait, am I stuck here though? How do I get out of here? Oh no. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I think I'm stuck here now. <gasps> Thank you, Charmy. <laughs> I don't know how I was able to do that. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Charmy. Thank you. Sweet. 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 <laughs> Thank you, Sid. All right. Oh. Uh. Back to playing as Knuckles. Almost out of here. Yay! Oh! Oh! Ow! I don't like this at all. Please help. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> Charmy, put in some work, please! Guess I'll die. Well, that was only minorly horrifying. Imagine how bad this game would be co-op. You know, I think it would actually be slightly better. Maybe not. I can't tell. If someone was charming. Oh, hey, that was... I walked that way already. That was weird. <laughs> I swear that was not there. Okay. Let's do this, Knuckles. Okay, yeah, I think there's literally three levels left. <gasps> yeah, I might need to switch to Charmy as my main character. Felicia, I've seen that video, I think. Yeah, it's always interesting, uh, there's a few videos out there that have, uh, Ken Penders kind of giving his side of what was going on at Archie, and it is honestly pretty interesting because, like, there's so many variables about, like, what went wrong exactly with that whole situation, like, from beginning to end, like, early Archie days, Sega really did not provide them with much. This Patrick Spaziante had to buy a copy of Sonic Adventure <laughs> because Sega wouldn't provide them with one. <laughs> so, Spaziante bought a Japanese Dreamcast, imported it, and a Japanese copy of Sonic Adventure just so they could kind of vaguely understand what the heck was going on and, like, what they were supposed to do. Oh god, Knuckles. Oh god, Knuckles. Oh no, now we got negative three rings?
Okay. You know, they could make a different RPG Sonic game. I'm just saying if the Echidna thing is still a sour topic. Yeah, I'm not sure if they'll ever touch Echidnas again, if I'm honest. Which, I don't know. That's fine, because, like, Knuckles should be the... Oh, what? Did I just end up in the same spot? I think Knuckles should be, like, truly the last of his kind. I guess you could... I don't know, maybe not. I was gonna say, you could maybe headcanon that... Ugh. Oh! Hey, that worked out. I was gonna say, you could headcanon Sonic Forces to be the sequel, because, I mean, Eggman takes over in that game. Oh, we got bomb. Bombs? You want it? Oh my god. I don't know what this does. <laughs> I felt like I was doing so good at the start there, though. I mean, unless Rouge and Knuckles get together and have kids, who knows about genetics. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how it works in Sonic. In Archie, it was like, the boy looks like the boy character and the girl looks like the girl character. If I recall, Sega could still actually bring Shade back uh, without having to pay Ken really anything, it's just more so that Sega doesn't really want to deal with... Yeah, no. that That's totally it. It's, it's not the fact that they don't own the characters, it's just that they don't want to open the can of worms. They're just like... It's... It was too much. <laughs> oh, did I say... What did I say I was going to do? Oh, it's too late. We gotta go this way. Wahey! Are we really gonna talk about Knuckles X Rouge? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that's one of the ships that is, uh... It's like most heavily in the games, you know what I mean? Whatever ship you like, that's the one I like. Look at this ship that we're on. Yeah, you can sail my ship. Oh my god, yeah, we need some rings. Shoot. Are you... Woo! There we go. Welcome back, Charmy. I like the Wally ship. Looks cozy. The one where all the people are like in the wheelchairs. Is that the one you're talking about? <laughs> what about this ship? I think it's the same ship from earlier. Oh, heck yeah. Oh. 
Mighty. Okay. There we go. Attack of the giant knuckles, yeah, dude. Gotta say the egg carrier looks pretty snazzy. Giant pool and a chow garden. Count me in. Yeah, but you gotta enter in like a weird code to get into the chow garden. Or I guess I'm thinking of uh I'm thinking of the final level. What's that level called again? Ooh. Really? Oh, that's infuriating. <gasps> okay. Oh, well, we done. <laughs> Course out! Too bad! Okay, now let's go switch to Charmy. Just so we can get through these last couple levels. No big deal. You blew it! I blew it! Knuckles! We gotta get him. Final egg? Dude, I love that level. Hate the boss. Are you talking about the, the Viper? The thing about the Viper that sucks is that it looks like he's up to something. That part, that part kind of sucks. Sometimes that part's tricky. All right, Marina Madness. See Charmy behind the combi catcher. He's so small. Yeah, he's a small boy. Just a little guy. <laughs> but boy, does it make traversing easier. I guess we want to be going down, though, don't we? Aha, uh -huh, that's why. <laughs> cool. <gasps> mighty Paw Patrol, the Mighty Pops movie. <laughs> now in theaters and on Paramount Plus. Paw Patrol, Mighty Pops. Mighty the Armadillo, the Mighty Pup. Okay. Oh, he's Knuckles. Well, 
I'm out of here. You know, Charmy's kind of fun when he's not talking. I totally agree. This is the best Charmy. Shadow, you're so cool. Well, this is the most useful invincibility I've ever had in any game. Come on, Knuckles! <gasps> Aha! I can't tell if I need to go up or down at this point. I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we found it. Okay, cool! Bum, 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 bum. I don't find Ames annoying, I find the character Charmy annoying. That is not a controversial opinion. Hit him! Oh god! Kill this man. Kill him. Sting him. There will be blood. Vanquish him. Dude, Eggman looks like the guy that played him in the Blue Core Studios movie. <laughs> Alright. Hey, check out the 3D graphics! He used to hate Charmy, but honestly, he's in my top five characters now. Wow. Really? That's rare, I feel like. Honestly, the way Marine was written in Rush Adventure was more annoying than Charmy, but it wasn't voice acted. It wasn't voice acted. You didn't have to hear all of that. Guys, I'm sorry that I got cancelled for not liking Charmy. Oh no, a kid having a voice? Blasphemy. It is a pretty grating voice. <laughs> I'm just saying, oh no. Oh no. We switched. I don't know one child that sounds the way that Charmy B sounds. Complete the level like this? It's so weird. Oh, it's this way. Aha! Press the button! Okay, cool. Alright! Who wouldn't like Charmy? He's innocent. Charmy is a boy? Thank you very much! <laughs> also, I like Rouge. Guys. I, I really like Blaze's character. But do they need to show up in the movie? Specifically the third movie? No. They don't. Oh gee, we're on this again, huh? <laughs> the chat brings it up, man! <laughs> I'm getting cancelled because I said Charmy's voice is annoying. I mean, you know, that's just, like, 
It's just kind of his character. He's supposed to be an annoying little kid. It, exactly! Very hyperactive. He's not annoying in the, like, oh god, I never want to hear him sense. He's, he's just, like, just a hyperactive little kid. Yeah. Someone else in the chat said Charmy's cool when he's not talking. And that's what started it. So how, we, we gotta cancel that person before we cancel me, guys. Okay. <laughs> Dude, it is Jover Robotnik. Get out of here. And you, you just decapitated him. Too bad it's all over! For you! Yeah. Oh, my friend Knuckles just vanished. Aw, oh, Knuckles. I'm gonna stop doing that. Knuckles. Okay. Can I do it? Let's hope so. Ah! That is so cruel. How could this happen to me? TVH, the only Sonic voice I really find actually annoying is Gamma's English dub Sonic X voice. It's just so. Oh, bad. that is that is terrible. Yeah. Yeah, I I really don't know. Like, I mean, Andrew Reynolds is great, right? He's uh, he's a good voice actor and and all that, and they they did just have him do a lot of extras, but. Oh my god. He just he just really dialed up the, the high tones for, for that voice. Yeah, that was that was odd. All goes back to them, I guess, just not having a whole lot of reference material to go by. I chickened out. I was like, there's no way I'll make that jump. I should've just sent it. Yeah. Oh well, we didn't get all the rings. That's okay. It's fine. We've got that save file where I did, so... We'll go do that after this. I don't really Sonic like X Chris and Sonic X. It sounds gross. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Review of Sonic X's English dub, but everyone is voiced by Chris Pratt and Charlie Day. Okay. I'm in. I, I would take some characters voiced by Charlie Day. Topaz, voiced by Charlie Day. What are you doing in my pool?! <laughs> We gotta get Jake Johnson on the cast too, though. Charlie Day, Jake Johnson, Will Arnett. These are all people I want on this cast. What's something that Jake Johnson did? He's uh, Peter B. Parker. Oh. I don't remember how Peter B. Parker sounded like. <laughs> Hello. He just kind of got like a... I don't know, like a little bit of like a raspy thing going on. Who's more of a Charmy B fan? Between who and who? <laughs> Ultimate Spider Player says it's okay, I also don't remember. Uh, thanks for sympathizing with me, Spidey. <laughs> That's saying a lot coming from Spidey. Yeah. Why, is the Spider Man fandom in him just being LARP? Uh. 
Also for Omochao, uh, it's super chatty and don't want his help, then don't go up to him. He's meant to help new players. Don't crucify the tiny robot just for doing his job. But it's funny. <laughs> but then Listen, he shows up when you don't want him to. You know, I it's, think it's, it's really infuriating when you, like, die a stupid way, and then he comes up in the boss fight and is like, You idiot! You don't know how to beat this boss? I think that's when he's annoying. <laughs> you, you die to a boss and he's just like, Hey, did you know that pressing the A button is jump? And it's, like, almost near the end of the game. Yeah, and you're just like, get out of here, man. <laughs> but, you, you know, uh, listen, I, I just... Every time I go to Pumpkin Hill, I just, you know, something just fills me with such joy to be able to pick him up and just toss him off of the hill, you know? It's pretty good. This fog reminds me of San Francisco! Spidey says, I don't know man, Spider-Man is actually a pretty stupid guy. <laughs> we got him. No way! I can't believe this! It's no use! Give up! <laughs> See if you can make it through here, Sonic. It's no use! Give up! Ah, he's not gonna get away with this! I don't know what the bad ending of this game is like. What's gonna happen? Oh, it, uh. it is... It is really something, actually. I can't wait. It is It is probably actually the most... Uh, how should I say... Uh, like... Downer of, of a bad ending? Oh. You'll see. I can't wait. Aw, uh, yeah. Heck yeah. This muscle memory's coming in. <laughs> Speaking of Omochao Edition, there's a mod for... Oh, I kind of got ahead of myself there. Speaking of Omochao, there's a mod for Sonic 1 called Omochao Edition that has Omochao follow you and stop you. Say got, uh, slash did XYZ anytime anything happens. What's cool about it, though, is that it has a hub world for selecting levels similar to gen uh, Generations, and the music board is actually the hub world uh, slash character clog grabber area thing music from this game. I remember... Uh... Challenging myself to clear Green Hill Zone in Sonic 1 Omochao Edition, and by the end of it, I wanted to die. <laughs> wow, we are not doing so hot here. I mean, we're not dying, but I have not got one hit on him yet. Good God! Oh, King Ant-Man actually has a pretty good point here. Uh, I'm sorry, but Cream's voice drives me nuts. I know she's oh, a kid, too, yeah. clearly. Yeah. Um, and, like, the the four kids one, oh my god. Like, she started off pretty normal, like, just sounded like a little girl, and then she just got so high and squeaky. Which which did create one of, like, the greatest... Oh my god, the, I the did greatest... that. That didn't matter. Uh, <laughs> hadn't gotten any hits in anyway. Uh... The, the four kids one, uh, uh, like, uh, in terms of uh, tonal dissonance, uh, one of my one of my favorite moments in Sonic X is like uh, near the end of the uh, the third season where um, like Sonic Rouge and Amy find out about like uh, what happened uh, to the Cedrians in their world and stuff, and it's it's really dramatic and sad and uh, you know very serious tone, and then like it cuts back to. Uh, Cosmo and Cream, and then like, uh, Cream and that, uh, that voice of hers is like, oh, Gee, Cosmo, you must be really hungry, and, and like, it's just... <laughs> oh man, it made me laugh.
You must have been really hungry. <laughs> it's just, like, the, the tone could not have been any different from what it immediately preceded it. And, and it sounds like uh, the, the actor is going to break her vocal cords, too. So. Cream's voice in Dream Team is better, though. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't so, um, it wasn't so screechy, but in the way that, like, uh, her, her voice was cracking all the time. You could tell that there was, like, some serious strain going on with the actor. I, uh, I'm still paying for Apple Arcade because I was like, I'm gonna play Dream Team played it like four times and I haven't gone back to it. I've probably spent like the price of an actual Sonic game to play a game that I'm never going to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's fine. I just wish I had a con like a controller that would work with it. Man. Alright, let's see uh... this bad ending. It'd be nice for that game to like get released on something else. Look at this egg, man. Oh, yeah. Oh! No way! I can't believe this! Oh, Metal on. Sonic! Ha ha ha! Come on, Metal Sonic. Oh, we still have to fight this boy? Yeah. Death is here, says uh, Nightshade. <gasps> Knuckles, come on. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh dear, my goodness. Knuckles, come on, man. And you gotta help. I forgot this red metal Sonic existed in this game. You sure do. Ow. Is it possible to hit him with Charmy's regular attack, or do I have to, like, do a butt bomb here? Couldn't tell you. Go to hell! Oh, no. <laughs> Get him, Knuckles! <laughs> now remember, kids, if you become giant and red, <laughs> you go to hell before you die. Then he's stuck in a room with Omo Chow for a week or talk about how great Charmy is for a month. Oh god, our ring! Oh, you, you lost your only ring? I can do this. I just gotta lure him over here. That's bold. Oh man. Yeah! <laughs> Get ready for all of that to be meaningless. Oh, our Fruit Loops are disintegrating in the milk. Man, they were <laughs> there for a while. <laughs> I formed. All of oh my God! Yep. No way! I forged all of the Fruit Loops into one big Cheerio, and now it will perform as the power source for Metal Sonic Kai as I destroy this pathetic planet. <laughs> yep. I cannot believe on. this is real. Yep, Are you kidding me? Now. 
No. <laughs> because our Fruit Loops dissolved in the milk and turned into a Cheerio. So now, sim uh, sinister that uh, that music is too. This is this is beautiful. That's great. The whole city's on fire. The, yeah, that was uh, that was not in in this. The city did not catch on fire. <laughs> I don't even remember like Metal Sonic Kai showing up in that story, but he must. Uh, Felicia, uh, Vinny's got, um... Yeah, I have a save, save file from with, uh... when I got all the Chaos Rings when we did it for Year of the Hedgehog, so we'll pop that up. I don't know, can I yeah. skip this? I can't. It just makes us look at this burning city. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here's a reminder of how you failed. This is incredible. The good ending sucks, says uh, Super Epic Code Bros. I, I don't really think much... I think, that, like, more happens here than in the good ending. Because <laughs> I think it just kind of cuts to the credits, if I'm remembering it right. We'll see what happens. Sweet says, congrats, everyone and their grandchildren are dead. Yay! It was all meaningless. This is my favorite Mega Man prelude. You blew it! <laughs> oh no. I'm not a fan of bad endings of Vibe Killer. Thank you for playing! <laughs> <laughs> Presented by Sega! This is, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe that's real. That is so funny. Uh, it, it really is up there with uh, uh, Tails dying in Game Gear Sonic 2 is just like the most downer ending in the franchise. Knuckles. All right. Uh, mm, sweet. It's not outright stated, but it is very heavily implied in the bad ending of uh, Eight Bit Sonic Two that uh, that Tails uh, didn't make it out alive because uh, for like oh. most of the game. Bombs. <laughs> Uh, for, for most of the game, like, the plot of it is that Eggman has kidnapped Tails, so you need to save him. However, if you can't get all the Chaos Emeralds, then you end up not being able to save him. Yeah, and then his face appears in the clouds. He hits you with the Mufasa. Yeah. Yeah, it's... That, that's kind of how I've always interpreted it too, Felicia. But it is pretty funny to be like, Rip Tails. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Knuckles looks like me holding my plushies. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> Yes, yes, that's grand. It says, Sonic's most famous and iconic character, Bomb! Ah, uh, yeah, man. Heavy and Bomb. What a combo. Bomb, get out of there! <laughs> look at... Look at the he's holding him! Looks so funny. Kind 
kind of looks like he's cradling, like, Mighty the Armadillo's baby. <laughs> uh, Alan Carrillo says, uh, I'd like to mention that uh, the constellation of Sonic and Tails can be seen in the good ending of Sonic 2 8 bit. Uh, but as we saw earlier in the uh, good ending, both characters are completely fine. Yeah. Simply Sweet says, My bomb, don't touch him. Bomb, no! <laughs> bomb got taken to the big metal sonic home in the sky. <laughs> are you kidding me? play as Heavy and Bob together if uh, you use cer a certain code during the so uh, sound test or something that says Felicia. That's interesting. Big news, I got Doritos. Says Spider <gasps> Doritos? What flavor? Enjoy your Doritos. Just press a couple buttons and a couple rings. My big cheerio. Come on, Metal Sonic! Alright. We're going to lower cholesterol. Oh god, I spent my rings. I accidentally spent the rings. I pressed the A button. That's bad. Oh dear. That's very bad. It's Jover. There's no way. Uh, Spidey has nacho cheese Doritos. Mm. Classic. What's even more cool about playing as Heavy and Bomb together is that uh, even though both of them don't play super well with most other characters, having them with each other, they play quite well. Maybe they intended for that to be a thing at some point, but then decided that they should only be like partner characters. For whatever reason. Okay, this is the strat. This is the strat. I need Bomb to come back. We can do this. What as long as I have birthday? bomb, <laughs> we can do this. Kel asks, uh, uh, what happens when you press A? Why does it uh, spend your ring? It, uh, because it sends your partner over to you, and it and it costs ten rings. Oh my god. Bomb, do that again, man. All right, sweet. I think Bomb we can do just this. Took the initiative there. Bomb, best Jumping. character confirmed. <laughs> Wait, hold on, he doesn't suck? Try this on for size, big boy. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> oh, I am the greatest Sonic Chaotix player that ever lived! The gathering of all the Fruit Loops. Cool! I think I was only one Fruit Loop away from the other one. Yeah, there's not even a cutscene! We just get on the plane! <laughs> Sonic and Tails are like, we're here too! Hey, remember us? This is my franchise! Knuckles, I let you have one game, and you let the robot version of me turn into like a big, hellacious... Eldritch Abomination? Not cool! I am not a fan of that! Therefore, I'm going to have Tails run over you and your friends in my plane. Also, if you're wondering about my legs, uh, there was a there was a bit of oh an incident. God. I had to go to the I had to go to the vet. It was uh, it's really embarrassing, actually. That is unsettling now that I see it. <laughs> yeah.
What is what happened? Sonic. He, that is. That just looks like that looks so wrong. It does. He's naked. Oh God! I wish you'd never pointed that out to me. It's <laughs> so welcome. cursed. That is so cursed. <laughs> it really is. Never thought what I'd a... see the day where a bad ending of a Sonic game is better than the good ending. Yeah, this this is this is boring. What an oversight. <laughs> I wish Metal Sonic Kai would just come back in the background and like burn everything again. <laughs> the good music's still playing. <laughs> Sonic, put some pants on, man. I do love his hands, though. He's reaching Ooh, out. Little pose. Looks cool. He, he looks ready to jump off. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Spidey says, "This is the worst." I think so. Tails looks absolutely scared for his life. Good God. <laughs> he's realizing that he's about to run over his friends. He's like, oh, Wait! <laughs> Vector, move! Oh no, he's wearing headphones! He can't hear us! <laughs> Heavy and Bomb don't get to be up here. That's cruel. Yeah, their inclusion in this game is just so odd. Knuckles, I actually, uh, I came here to moon you. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time I ever let you play the lead character of one of my games. <laughs> Look at this butt! <laughs> Sonic, put some pants on. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, Sonic doesn't need pants. Leave him alone. No, he does. I don't want to see that. That, oh, God, it looks, it looks not good. His right leg, his right leg looks not good. <laughs> Gee, I wonder what you could mean by that, Vinny. I hate looking at that. That's got to, that's got to go. We can't look at that anymore. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Knuckles Chaotix. A really weird game where he plays Knuckles. And that's what we're all about here at uh, Vindo Live and Knuckles Month. We're playing all these Knuckles games. I hope, I, hey, I hope you had a good time tonight, guys. I hope you had a good time. I want to thank Jen from Time Soup. For joining us, you can find her at Time Soup on Twitter, and then of course we've got Skull902 here. Uh, thank you so much, Skull. Yeah, no problem. Uh, nice to be here for uh, consecutive weeks, actually, for the first time in forever. I've hey, I'm so proud of I'm you. missing out on so many. Oh, that's okay. Um, yeah, join me next week. We're gonna go into the adventure era. We're doing Adventure One and Two campaigns for Knuckles. I can't wait. I I hope that you're just as excited as I am. Knock, knock, it's Knuckles. Give you the coldest shoulder. Break through boulders. I'm hard as nails. It ain't hard to tails. <laughs> I've had a great time, Vinny. Thanks for streaming this game. You're welcome, Kel. Thank you so much. It's put me in a much better mood. Thanks, Vinny. Simply sweet. That was very simply sweet of you. Thank you. Um, I can, I can wait, says Ultimate Spire Plush. Good, because you're going to have to. Because I'm, it's a, it's a week away. <laughs> not doing it right now. Uh, Felicia says, thank you so much for the fun stream as always, Vinny. Have a good night and take care of everyone. I got to do finals now, says, mm, sweet. Oh, man. I fun with finals. Red Zone is streaming his stream on Twitch as well. By the way, he's playing his weekly speedrun of Sonic Adventure. Yes. Guys, head over to twitch.tv. To check out Brent doing his Brent percent run on Sonic Adventure. Uh, he races himself every week to see if he can beat his own time. 
playing through all of Sonic Adventure. So go check out Brent Zone if you haven't. He's a great streamer. We love Brent. No offense, Vinny, but you cry when your favorite Wendy's burger is gone, says Nightshade. Y yeah? It's a good burger. What do you know about love? It's due at midnight, <laughs> says Sweet. Oh my gosh. Well, get to work. I hope you go I hope it goes well for you. Him asks, does this game have a debug mode? Probably. I just, I've never done it. I, I, I don't, I used to mess around with debug modes a lot when I was younger, but I just, like, I'll unlock them in games. I'll be like, oh, cool. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't really do much for me anymore. Someday. Yeah, if the Pretzel Bacon Pub Burger comes back, guys, that'll be, that'll be true love. I have a cat that loves me, so yeah, I do know what love is. All right, Nightshade, whatever. But have you ever eaten a pretzel bacon pub cheeseburger? It was pretty all right. Yeah, everyone wish mm, sweet good luck. 50% of it at least. Is due? Oh, still need to finish editing. I see, I see, I see. Good luck, mm, sweet. Uh, Please, Kit Premier says, I had fun chatting with everyone and hanging out. Oh man, yeah, Premiere. Oh, we really? I don't think we played as Mighty that entire time. I think we got a chance to play as everyone but Mighty. Mighty showed up as like our partner character a few times, but I never got to play as him. Yeah, only through the item box, yeah. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna love you, I'm gonna miss you. Take care. So, uh, the thing it's supposed to play, it's not playing. Oops. What's going on here? Oh! Wahey! Alright, goodbye guys. <laughs> <laughs>